Hi, BookTube. This is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching books I'm not reading. Uh, I heard some positive feedback about seeing parts of the library, so the only problem in the library is pretty messy right now. Um, so, but I will try to mix it up a little bit. Uh, I am here today to do essentially a Friday Reads video, even though it's Tuesday. But tomorrow starts a five-day weekend for me, which I am I am so excited about, and it definitely involves uh, some some serious reading. Hopefully, some Christmas tree putting up, decorating that kind of thing. But uh, anyway, I was able to finish the horizontal world. Growing Up Wild in the Middle of Nowhere by Deborah Marquette uh, over this last weekend. This book, like, and I think one of you told me that you were really interested in this. So if you still are, please let me know in the comments section and um, let me know a way to get your mailing address. Probably won't mail it out till 2021. Uh, but anyway. There were chapters in this that I thought were so well done, um, and then other chapters that, oh, like this line, my gosh, this might be the like worst line I've read in the entire year. There are places in the world that have hard-ons only for you, and Montana is such a place for me. Can you believe like what well, I I feel like she's trying to to shock us uh, with statements like that but nonetheless it, it it doesn't it doesn't work on me I uh, there are so many more beautiful ways to describe um, your connection to a certain place um, and 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 Deborah Marquette actually does that in other parts of the book and talking about where she grows up and it's and it's constant kind of tie on her um so like i said there there were chapters that were lovely and i think a lot of it had to do with the fact that many of these chapters had been previously published in um literary magazines um that kind of thing uh, reviews and su such. So uh, I think that some of those people did a better job of editing her work and and shaping it together. Um, I'm I'm not I'm not exactly sure, but it just it it doesn't come together as a whole in the end. Um, yeah. So so I'm done with that. I started reading after that A Buffalo in the House by R.D. Rosen, The Extraordinary Story of Charlie and His Family. This is about a family who adopts a baby buffalo that has lost its mom and uh, apparently the woman in this, uh, her, she's like a family history. I'm not very far in, so we won't pass judgment. There have been some kind of strange statements made so far, so I'm hoping things are gonna turn around. Um, it's kind of gone back in time and we're not really with Charlie and the family that much yet, so. Um, but anyway, so I'm reading this as part of my uh, Curious Adventure as was uh, the book I just finished, so uh, really excited to finally read this, another book that I've probably owned for 10 years. I have also been reading Mary Carr's poetry collection, Sinner's Welcome. There's also an essay in here about poetry and faith, and this book is mind-blowing. It is so good. The poetry is just, I will, I will do a whole video just about this collection when I get done, but that will definitely be in December because 
even though this is a slim volume of poetry, it it is so powerful, I find anyway, that is so powerful that, um, yeah, I, I, uh, I can't rush through it, even if I want to, I, I just can't. Um, so, uh, I'm really excited to talk to you more about this, the language, um, the phrasing, it's just, probably the best poetry, and I'm not that far in, but it's probably the best poetry collection I've read, um, maybe ever? <laughs> uh, definitely this year. This is the best poetry I've read all year, so it's a good way, right? Good way to end the year with poetry. The other thing that I may get to so depending on how reading, especially in um, the Buffalo in the House book, depending on how that reading goes, I have another book that shipped yesterday. And so, fingers crossed, I'm hoping it will get here before um, the, the end of my long weekend. And that is called Tomorrow Will Be Better by Betty Smith. And I just grabbed off the shelf my copy of Maggie Now, which is the last Betty Smith book I read. So my goal this year was to read um, all four Betty Smith books. Um, a Tree Grows in Brooklyn, Joy in the Morning, Maggie Now. So Tomorrow Will Be Better was out of print and then ironically, strangely, surprisingly, was going to be reprinted earlier this year, say March, maybe? <laughs> Actually, I think it was closer to May. Uh, I even saw Steve Donahue haul it, haul it on his channel and uh, was so jealous. And then they pushed the publication um, date or republication date all the way back to um, November. So anyway, it's winding its way to me. It's just a matter of when it's going to get here. I think it's quite short, um, but I, you know, having never held a copy of it in my hands, I don't know for sure. But I do love Betty Smith and I have enjoyed reading uh, and rereading. Uh, her books this year, so I'm, I'm hoping to get Tomorrow Will Be Better. Now, in addition to that, of course, uh, you know, I have plenty of other reading that I could pick up if it doesn't arrive. I've got a short story collection, um, things like that. So, but that, that's kind of what my reading plans are for my five, five day weekend. So exciting! I would love to hear if you have some time off, what you're planning to do, um, what books uh, you're hoping to get to or squeeze in or finish. Um, we're really winding down with nonfiction November. I do have a, one more uh, nonfiction book, uh, which is about a woman trying to be in the Nutcracker. And I feel it's fine to read that in December, um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to that as well. So if if Betty Smith doesn't show up, I may I may start on that. We'll see. I'm also I hate to say this. I'm gonna try maybe to vlog a little bit this weekend. We'll see. I'm not sure. Vlogging is still very very difficult for me. <laughs> So mainly it's just so time consuming. I don't know how some of you um, managed to pull it off. I really don't. It's very, very impressive. But um, anyway, I will try to be back later in the week with some other videos because I will be at home. It's just Jason and I. We're going to have turkey and stuffing and uh, I'm going to make rolls. So yeah, we're gonna have a little feast together and I hope if I can get someone's cooperation, I'll, uh, I will have the Christmas tree up before I go back to work.
next Monday. <laughs> so, all right, you guys. Uh, Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a comment in the comment section about your plans for the next few days and what you'll be reading. And I will talk to you very soon, booktube. Remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Uh, take care. Bye.